Hello everyone, and I hope you guys are ready for another tennis video. So, in today's video, I'll be teaching guys how to alternate between our forehand and our backhand. So I hope you guys are ready, and try going outside and get an open space. And for this drill, you can so, even do it against the wall. Today, we'll start off with our warm-ups. Our first exercise is going to be some jumping jacks. As you can see, you just want to do as many jumping jacks as you can for 30 seconds and just stop when the timer ends. Again, make sure that both your arms reach each other on the top of your head and you just want to keep on going. If it's too easy, then you can go faster, but if it is too hard, you can take a quick break and can then continue right after. We're almost done. Only 5 seconds left. Okay, nicely done. Now, we'll be running on the spot. So, for this exercise, we want to try running as fast as we can for 15 seconds. If we can't do it, then it's okay, you just want to slow down your pace. But if it's too easy, try running faster or bringing your knees up to your chest. Nicely done. Now we'll be stretching our right arm. So for this one, you just want to take your right arm, bring it across your chest towards your left side, and with your left arm, you just want to hold it back, just like how I'm doing. Take a nice uh, deep breath in and out while you're doing this. Again, it's always really important that we stretch our arms while we're doing, while we're going to play tennis, that way when we start Hitting the ball, we don't accidentally hurt ourselves. Okay, we're on our last 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, now we'll do the same thing, but for our left side. So take your left arm, want to bring it to your right side, and with your right arm, we want to hold our left arm back. Again, we want to be taking a nice deep breath in and out and in and out. Make sure that you feel a nice stretch on your left arm, but again, you don't want to pull too hard. Okay, and we're on our last 10 seconds. Just keep holding it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, we're going to stretch our arm to the right this time, but we're going to bring our right arm over our head. And now with our left arm, we want to hold our right arm and, and lightly just pull, pull your arm. Again, this is just another, it's just another good exercise before we play some tennis. And again, just take a nice deep breath in and out and in and out. Okay, we're on our last 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nicely done. Now, we're going to do the exact same thing, but with our left arm. So, just take your left arm over your head, and with your right arm, you want to hold your left elbow. And give it a light, gentle pull. Again, not too hard. Again, just make sure you're breathing in and out while you're doing this. We're on our last 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, we'll be stretching our legs. Again. Tennis is not just the arms. We also want to make sure we stretch our legs because we have to. We're going to be uh, running around here and there when you start playing games. As you can see, just with your with your right arm, just hold your right leg. If you can balance, that's good. But if you can't, just lean on a wall or just hold a, a steady object. Again, if you want to maintain your balance, you want to focus your eyes on one spot, and that will help you out greatly. Five, four, three, two, 
one good job now we'll be doing the same thing but on the left side so as you can see with my left arm I grab my left leg and I pull it as far as I can and with my right arm I'm just leaning against the wall for some balance Again, you want to make sure you're not moving too much, but if you start to slip here and there, that's fine. And if you drop your leg, that's okay. Just bring it back when you're ready. Make sure you're breathing in and out while we're doing the exercise. And now we're on our last 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we're going to be doing some standing strokes this time. What we want to do is we want to alternate between our forehand and backhand stroke. As you can see, I turn around, bend my knees and do a forehand stroke. And I do the same thing with my backhand. Bend my knees, follow through. As you can see, I am not worrying about speed, but instead I am just worrying about how my shot is looking and about the formation. As you can see, I really exaggerate it going over my shoulder, which is again, very good practice to have. As you can see, I'm lightly changing my grip from my forehand and backhand as we use two different grips. Now we're in the last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna be doing it while we're moving. So let's do some shuffle strokes. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle this side, and I'm gonna do my follow through for my forehand, and then shuffle backhand. As you can see, after my hits, I always go back into ready position, and then I get ready to shuffle the other way. Okay, now as you can see, I, when I do my shots, I bend my knees and I try to dip my shoulder in, especially on my back hands. As you can see, I'm looking the other way and then I open up my chest towards the net. And we just want to make sure that we're always moving because this will be good preparation for games. Now we're going to be rallying against the wall and we want to alternate between forehands and backhand. As you can see here, I'm, I'm stuck at home so I'm going to be doing it against the wall. I'm going to pull a forehand against the wall, catch it, and then I'm going to hit a backhand against the wall and catch it. And I want to, I want to keep repeating this. So if you can go to tennis court, that'd be great. And if you can get a, a partner or someone, you can hit the ball to them and they can hit it back or they can catch it and throw it back to you. And this too would be pretty fun and it's easy to do. Now I'm just going to keep repeating it. I'm going to hit it against the wall, catch and go. As you can see, after I hit the ball, I catch it and I do it. But if you're comfortable, you can always Hit it against the wall and don't catch it and just continue to go straight to your backhands. Again, I just want to do it slow and steady. And all I'm going to do is worry about my form. I do not want to hit the ball too hard. Especially against the wall, we want to make sure that we have a lot of control. Okay. Now that we're okay, we're almost done. Three, two, one. And now... Thank you guys for coming and I hope you guys now know how to hit a forehand and backhand and alternate between the two. Hope you guys are ready for next week's lesson and all the best.